All right. So, very first, like your first born, like you have your fetus, right? You're just chilling in the mom's womb, growing up in the oven. So, the very first part of your bones is what? What do you mean? Sorry. What is the first? What is the first substance called that makes up bones? Cartilage, right? And so chondrocytes laid on cartilage. So you have what's called a hyaline cartilage model. Right? Your hyaline cartilage model. It lays down cartilage and like so what what is a model? Like what kind of purpose does a model serve? Like if I'm an artist and I'm trying to paint this person, what is it like? What copy? Yeah. yeah, so it gives you something of what's so good, so you know what what you're making, right? Right. And so that's what this cartilage does. It kind of gives it and says, hey, you know, like when you're laying down the bone, you kind of make it in the shape and this form and about this size, you know. Oh, okay. And the thing is, you need a cartilage layer model down to be able to lay bone down, mm -hmm. right? If there's no cartilage layer down first, you can't lay down any bone. Okay. So you first have this thing right here, and then all of a sudden you form what's called the primary ossification center. Does that sound familiar? Mm -hmm. What's happening there? Isn't that where um, the bone begins to, I guess, ossify or like it's made? Yeah. So you have the primary ossification center, and the bone is first trying to get made, right? And so you have osteoblasts coming in and laying down this thing called the bone matrix. And then if that's making it possible for everything else to work, right? right. Now with the primary ossification center form, you're going to get blood coming in to this new bony substance, right? Yeah. And the, what is this thing called? On the sides? Whatever? No. The perichondria? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is on. Or, yeah. So first you form the perichondria, you start the ossification, and then you form this uh, primary ossification center, and blood comes along, and you're able to deliver nutrients to it, mm -hmm. right? And to deliver nutrients to this, this new primary ossification center, it delivers the things that are necessary to be able to form the actual bone part of it, right? And so the way bone works is, it's kind of like Bondo. Have you used Bondo before? Yeah. So how does Bondo work? You, I guess you like lay it down and harden. Yeah, so like you have this can called, that says Bondo on it. It has a big top, and then you have this little squirt tube inside of it, right? And so you use, you open up the can, you prop open your thing, you have your little piece of wood or your, your little plate there that you're going to mix your Bondo on. You take a big old scoop of Bondo, you put it on there, and it's pretty soft, right? You can like move it, you can play with it. Um, you can, I guess, you can just kind of, it's, it's not hard at all, right? It's right. pretty, pretty fluid. But then you take this little, this little tube and it says hardener, cream hardener, right? And it's red, and the Bondo's gray. Okay, so here's my, my Bondo just, just chilling. Well, then I take my little hardening tube, I squirt some drops of this little cream stuff into it, and it's hardener. And then I take a stick and I stir it all together, it kind of changes colors, you know, that pinkish color. Right. And then you let it sit, and after a few minutes it becomes hard. And in like 20 or 30 minutes it's as hard as like cement, right? It's like super hard. And so it's like two parts, right? But if the two parts are, if you if you put in too much of it, then it gets too hard and it gets brittle, right? And it breaks for you and it crumbles. If you don't put enough of it in, then it's not hard enough, right? And it's really pliable still. And so it's kind of like bones, right? And so bones are made from the substance called what? Collagen. Collagen and...
minerals, right? And so the minerals are like the like calcium and the phosphate, phosphorus and stuff, right? And so you have these calcium and all this kind of stuff, right? And so the collagen is kind of like your bondo, and the minerals are going to be like that hardening tube. Make sense? Yep. And so in these primary ossification centers is where you're going to start to actually form bone. And there's these things called osteoblasts, right? Um, what do osteoblasts do? Um, don't they attract, uh, I the word, um, hydro something. Hydroxy, like, that it? Yeah, like that? they eventually make bone, so. Yeah, so it's this little cell here. You spit out this thing called the bone matrix, right? Right. And so you spit out a bone matrix, and it's made up of all these different nutrients and like stuff like that, like the collagen and all this kind of stuff, right? All these different proteins. But then he sends out these little crystals, right? And they're full of this thing called hydroxyapatite. Okay. So I have hydroxyapatite. And hydroxyapatite is made up of a bunch of things like calcium. Phosphorus, right? Well, what do we say that these minerals do to the collagen? They harden. They harden stuff, right? And so, when this stuff mixes with the bone matrix and like it, it mixes with the collagen, then this will actually start to harden. So as it's hardened, then we actually get the actual bone. So what we think of as bones, right? And so on the insides of my bone, my primary ossification center, what kind of bone am I forming? Spongy bone. Spongy bone. What is spongy bone? Isn't it just like a soft bone? Or? Yeah, it's soft bone, right? And so when I form spongy bone, if you're seeing a sponge like a normal sponge that has like like a green scraper on top. Yeah. And so the green scraper is it's like thicker and denser than a sponge, right? The sponge has like holes going through it and it's kinda of porous. Yeah. But the sponge the, the green scraper is not. And so the bones are kinda of like that. On the inside you have all these these holes, but it's still like a pretty solid surface, right? Mm -hmm. But there's still kind of pores going through it. But on the outside you have this little called what? Compact bone. Compact bone, right? Compact bone is a lot harder, right? It's thicker, it's denser, and it's, they're a lot closer together. There's not all these little small spaces, right? And it's actually a lot smoother of a surface, and it's strong, right? It can withstand impacts. But what this does is it makes it so the whole bone is in a super dense bone, right? Unless you've been super heavy, so it makes your bones a lot lighter, actually. But the thing is, is you had blood vessels that are going into that bone to deliver nutrients, right? Mm -hmm. And so as you form bone, it actually goes around the blood vessels. And it entraps in the inside of your, your bone blood vessels. For instance, same as that there's actually blood inside of the bone, right? 